Hey ladies and welcome to another Raw Reaction Show. I'm your host Glenn Thomas, one-fourth of the Wrestling Marks of Excellence, which you can find here on Fox Sports Radio 1340 AM every Thursday night. You can also find us on iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, as well as YouTube. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so you won't miss any of our shows. Well, let's get started with our Raw Reaction Show. This was a very impactful Monday Night Raw, say the least. Monday Night Raw got started off with Roman Reigns coming to the ring and making a startling announcement uh, to the WWE Universe uh, there in Providence, Rhode Island. Uh, Roman Reigns admits that, you know, he's been suffering with leukemia uh, for the last 11 years. Uh, he, Roman Reigns goes on to say that he, he, he wanted to be a fighting champion. You know, he was diagnosed with le leukemia when he was 22 years old and he was unable to fight. You know, he was on, he was able to fight it into remission uh, from the past, but Roman goes on to say that WWE given him a chance and put him in front of the fans to make his dreams come true. He says that it doesn't matter if he has he was cheered or booed, you know, and he didn't care about the reaction of the fans. He just cared that he got a reaction. Uh, Roman goes on to say that he will fight leukemia and he will be back. This is not a retirement speech. But it's a speech that he has to go back and he has to go out and take care of things with his body as well uh, for his family. Continue to pray for him and his family and that he will be back. It's not a retirement speech and he will come back with the WWE uh, to be bigger, faster, and stronger than ever. He beat leukemia before uh, and he can beat it again. Uh, you can see the emotions from the fans and the Shield here. Uh, also from Seth Rollins who was kind of broken up. Dean Ambrose as well. Many many of WWE Universe stars, legends, Hall of Famers went to Twitter uh, to show their support in condolences for uh, Roman Reigns and his family. Uh, also to tell Roman, Roman that they support him, the WWE support him as well. Uh, but that made a big change and shift in the Crown Jewel pay-per-view since we don't WWE does not have a universal champion per se uh, as Roman, Lane, Roman Reigns relinquished the title. That means that uh, at the Crown Jewel pay-per-view you'll see Brock Lesnar taking on Braun Strowman for the vacant uh, Universal title, Universal Championship uh, in the Crown Jewel pay-per-view in Saudi Arabia which will be November the 2nd you know, Raw got off to a somber mood. It looked like the fan, no one really knew uh, why Roman Reigns had missed several shows. No one ever knew why. Uh, it was a shock. And it was a shock to everyone back there. It was a shock to the fans. You can hear it in the voice of the announcers uh, when this was made. It was a shock to look on the fans' face as well. Let you know that no one knew this. Uh, it's a sad day for Roman Reigns fans, whether you like him or hate him. Uh, you know, prayers should go out to him and his family. I uh, hope he continues to beat this disease, leukemia. But we move on uh, to the first match of the night. We saw Bobby Lashley take on Finn Balor. Uh, Finn Balor gets to win in this match with a roll-up on Bobby Lashley. Pretty solid match. I'd like to see. I'm glad to see these two guys in a meaningful. Bobby Lashley's in a meaningful feud, uh, better than what he did with Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. Of course, Leo Rush comes out to the ring with Bobby Lashley, and hey, Finn Balor picks up a win. Believe it or not, Finn Balor is on a winning streak. If you go back several weeks and several months Finn, Finn Balor has been winning on Monday Night Raw so good to see where Finn Balor goes from here uh, then we moved on to Ruby Riot taking on Sasha Banks Ruby Riot had the Riot squad uh, in her corner Sasha Banks comes out with Bailey as well as Natalia where you'll see the three uh, six women tag match from in the Evolution pay-per-view on October the 28th which is this Sunday Evolution pay-per-view coming from Nassau Coliseum so we saw Sasha Banks take on Ruby Riot very good match here uh, Sasha Banks first televised match being back from her injury uh, this was this Ruby Riot went back and forth. Riot Squad got a little bit involved. Bailey got involved. Natalia got involved. All on the outside, and nonetheless, Ruby Riot gets the kick to Sasha Banks who knocks her. Uh, if you look at it on TV, watch it on film. Her locks knocks her lace front a little bit off her off kilter. Uh, she had to fix the camera. Good work by the cameraman who goes and switches to another angle. But nonetheless, Ruby Riot gets the win over Sasha Banks, and the Riot Squad celebrate. Then we move on to. The nostalgia moment, as most people wanted to use, that Shawn Michaels used in his promo. Uh, DX comes to the ring. DX was there. Shawn Michaels as well as Triple H. Triple H says he no longer is not about the boardroom, nor was he hiding from The Undertaker, nor was he hiding from Kane. Uh, Shawn Michaels goes on and talks about nostalgia, doesn't meaning old, but him and Shawn Michaels are not old. Him and Triple H are not old, but they get, they're getting better with time. Uh, they helped sell out the 70,000-seat G Arena in Australia. And Triple H referenced the Halloween movie uh, being 40 year old, a 40-year-old movie yet, but still being number one in the box office. But then we saw a promo from The Undertaker and Kane where they're in a graveyard. And it said that on November the 2nd, 2018, Shawn Michaels and Triple H will be put uh, in their proper places to rest in peace for eternity. Uh, him and Kane were throw, shown throwing dirt onto two 
Graves also had the birth in the death of Shawn Michaels in Triple H. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, that, that are their true birthdays. July 22nd, 1965 is when Shawn Michaels was born. And July 27th, 1969 is when Triple H was born. So, hey, WWE is really building up this Saudi Arabia uh, crown jewel pay-per-view. No, uh, is despite of what you hear on the news, despite what you see, despite uh, what's going on in political world, WWE is still going to Saudi Arabia on November 2nd. Uh, whether you agree with it or not, they leave a comment in uh, leave a comment in the comment section below. Uh, WWE is moving. They try to be trendsetters. They want to be revolutionaries, as you saw on September 11th. Uh, after September 11th, they were the first organized group to have a major assembly, and they're gonna be the first group here to be in, the, in Saudi Arabia after the U.S. journalist was murdered. Then we go on to see Elias take on Apollo Cruz. We know from previous week uh, Apollo Cruz had the. the you know, attack Elias. Uh, yet again, they have a match tonight. They had a match tonight, and Elias picks up the win here. A good win by Elias. But Elias was not done for the night as we went to commercial break and they did different, different promos on the WWE uh, talking about the Evolution pay per view as they're talking about the Crown Jewel pay per view. Once again, showed the Roman Reigns announcement uh, that he has leukemia and that he had to relinquish the title. Elias got himself together and comes out because of Apollo Crews interrupting him. Uh, singing a song to the Providence Rhode Island crowd. And he goes and, and, and attempts to sing it again. But this time he's interrupted by Baron Corbin, who says, look, the show, we got other things to do on the show, and we don't have time for this. And you got it, ladies and gentlemen. Elias hits Baron Corbin over the back of the head with the guitar. Nonetheless, this sets up something later on between Elias and Baron Corbin, which we'll see weeks to come. Uh, how would the punishment for Elias take shape? But I'm, I appreciate the fact that they are putting Baron Corbin in some important storylines here. He doesn't mind breaking the fourth wall. He doesn't mind uh, doing something different here. It's good to see Elias step out of character a little bit. We'll see where this takes shape next week. Then we move on to the contract signing. Nikki Bella and Ronda Rousey. The Bella Twins are out there. Ronda, they're a little jarring back and forth. You know how this contract signing is going to end. There's never been a contract signing in WWE history that has not ended in some type of physicality or altercation. Uh, Ronda Rousey goes ahead and signs the first. Hands the pin over to big Nikki Bella. After Nikki Bella signs the contract, she smacks the taste out of Ronda Rousey's mouth. And Ronda just... Give, grabs the title and walks out and tell Nikki Bella, I'll see you Sunday. So, sell you Sunday at the Evolution pay-per-view. This right here main event is really shaping up to be a great thing. Ticket sales has increased since this main event. Ticket sales have started moving a little bit more and quicker ever since this, this match has been announced for the Evolution pay-per-view. Then we move on to a women's four-way match. These four women will be included in the WWE Battle Royal. The women's Battle Royal at the Evolution, Evolution pay-per-view. We have Dana Brooke, Nia Jax, Tamina, as well as Ember Moon. A fatal four-way here. The Very decent match going back and forth here. But the winner of the match with the O-Face on, excuse me, the Eclipse on Tamina is none other than Ember Moon, who picks up the win. Then we move on to the main event of the evening, the main event of the night, uh, which was the tag team title match where we saw Dolph Ziggler and Drew McIntyre take on the Shield, Dean Ambrose, and Roman Reigns. Before we even get to the title match, we there was some altercation in the back where we saw Drew McIntyre said, look, I'm not waiting for Braun Strowman. I'm going to go to the, mo I'm going monster hunting. And he finds Braun Strowman uh, as Braun Strowman cuts the pro, after Braun Strowman cuts the promo. And he gives Braun Strowman yet again another Claymore kick and knocks Braun Strowman out. So as a wrestling fan, you're thinking, okay, tag team title match is going to happen. Braun Strowman is going to interfere in this match. And the Shield won't win. Well, guess what? Braun Strowman did interfere in this match, and the Shield did win. We have new tag team champions. That's right. Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose picks up the titles. Seth Rollins is your Intercontinental Champion as well as your tag team tag team champ, Raw tag team champions. And what a night for the Shield. They go from the beginning of the night and learning that they're brother at arms, their partner, their they, they life friend. Uh, Roman Reigns is still battling with leukemia. His le leukemia has come back. And at the end of the night, they find themselves being in WWE Raw Tag Team Champions. A good celebratory moment in the ring there. But that was not it, ladies and gentlemen. WWE put a little twist on this at the end of the night where we saw even though they won the tag team titles, we saw Dean Ambrose attack Seth Rollins afterwards and beat the living daylights out of Seth Rollins. All the frustration from weeks and weeks has finally built up. 
and Dean Ambrose attack Seth Rollins. Now, here, just my thought and my opinion on this. I think WWE had to advance or move this storyline further along because of the sickness of Roman Reigns. Removing Roman Reigns out of the picture of the Shield uh, had to um, escalate this storyline because if not, where would Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose go next? So this storyline had to be escalated, had to be excelled a little bit here. So we got Dean Ambrose attacking Seth Rollins. If you remember years ago, it was Seth Rollins who attacked Dean Ambrose in Roman Reigns with the steel chair. So Dean Ambrose gets a little retribution back on Seth Rollins. The question now here in the WWE Universe is, what would happen to them being tag team champions? Will they split? Will they WWE? Will they relinquish the tag team titles? What was going to take place between their relationship and them being the Raw tag team champions? Because regardless of they if Dean Ambrose attacks Seth Rollins or not, they are still the Raw tag team champions. Only time will tell where this relationship goes from here. We know Seth Rollins has not defended his Intercontinental Championship in several weeks on TV. So WWE is creating a good storyline leading into the fall months between Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose. The Shield, as it looks like, is no more with Roman Reigns being out with due, to, due to his sickness and Dean Ambrose is attacking Seth Rollins. The short-lived reunion of the Shield is over. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining us this week for the Raw Reaction Show. Join us this Tuesday night as we do the SmackDown Reaction Show as we give you the updates on SmackDown the Crown Jewel pay-per-view as well more information on the Evolution pay-per-view which is this Sunday night coming from the Nassau Coliseum as always ladies and gentlemen go ahead hit the subscribe button and that bell notification hit that subscribe button the bell notification check out some of my other videos as well go to iTunes go to Google Play at Stitcher and check out the Wrestling Marks of Excellence as always if you're not confirmed consider yourself denied in the story ladies and gentlemen Good night.